Hello everyone, welcome back to my 14th weekly dose of Ivermectin. Today we're in a temple that we've never been to before, it's in Bangkok. Let's take a look. So that's the name. Wat Saket. Very near to Khao San Road. And we're gonna go up there. Take a look at this, it looks lovely. It's been raining today. The rain's stopped maybe about half an hour ago and everything's getting dry. And the sky seems to be clearing quite nicely. So hopefully we'll get a nice view from up there. Like I say, I've never been before. So let's take a look. Which way do we go, Eden? have to look at the map yes. okay so look at the map and which way do we go there's the map okay let's do it who's that king rama what Okay. Are you reading the English? Eight, eight <laughs> nine, ten. Okay. And this temple is from what? King Rama one? No. No. Rama one to Rama five. Here we go, it looks beautiful. When did we say it was built? 1950 something. 1950 R. How, how have we never been here? Maybe they moved it here. Alright, anyway. So today's my 14th week and... In case you don't know, why have I been documenting my taking of Ivermectin? It's because... The hate against it and the fact that... Hate against it. Hate against it by elites and governments and institutions that are supposedly there to act on our behalf restricting our freedom perfectly safe drug which is potentially lethal according to the fda and it's an animal animal dewormer also according to the cdc and the fda and you shouldn't be using off-label drugs. Label for drugs for off-label usage. So it really highlights the manipulation. And I think people are waking up to different levels of it. But I mean me, I'm I'm starting to feel like absolutely everything. Everything is manipulated. Let's see what's up here. I don't know the significance of the bells. Wow. Wow, what is that noise? Oh, wow. Yeah, as, as I was saying, I feel that everything is manipulated uh, throughout my life, lifetime, everything. And let's look at the FDA a little bit and also the mainstream media. So, the FDA, there's approximately, it's estimated nearly 800,000 deaths. 800,000 deaths from FDA approved drugs. That's from misuse and overdose to many, many, many other factors to just uh, allergic reactions to misdiagnosis and things like that 
nearly 800,000. Overdose is just over 120,000, to put it into perspective. That's annually. Hospitalizations from FDA approved drugs is over 2 million. And when you add on to that, the serious adverse reactions, it's nearly 3 million. This is lovely. Can't believe we've never been here. <laughs> That's my kids banging, banging on the bell. You know, so that's the situation of drugs on an annual basis, yet um, they bring into question one of the safest drugs on the planet, ivermectin. Right? Could be lethal. It's an animal dewormer. Oh boy, my kids. <laughs> okay, let's, let's keep walking a bit. Also, what else can I tell you about the FDA? That they recall, uh, on average, over 1,200. It's nearly 1,300 drugs a year. For, for various reasons, whether it's from manufacturing defects to uh, sterilization to actually being lethal or, or, or causing health risks that outweigh the benefits. Uh, I, I've got a article I found from the LA Times of all places, and it's from 1999, I think. I'll post a link. And in there, they looked at some practices of the FDA where they're approving drugs that they knew um, weren't so safe, or they ignored information that pointed to them being not so safe. Right? This is in the 90s. Obviously, it's got worse since then and that um, uh, these drugs led to deaths before being recalled and billions of dollars were made by the pharmaceuticals. Ahoy there, little children. Isn't this great? Yeah, you need to climb up. So the FDA had prior knowledge or they willfully ignored information that should have um, made them reject the application. So, an example that they had in, in, in the article, how are your legs, my love? Good. Is a drug called Resulin. Resulin? For diabetes. So that was approved in January 97 despite opposition yeah what are you showing me i have been showing that for the last five minutes <laughs> whilst waiting for you all yeah i'll show people your butt go on walk <laughs> not bad for how old are you 42 nearly so anyway that drug uh, resolin it caused no can't say that it how to word it properly supposedly linked shall we say to 91 liver failures and 391 deaths now what do you think happened at the fda do you think anyone lost their job no yet alone went to jail but i mean of course the fda you trusted go to source for information I have to say that because of uh, socialist media community guidelines. Another drug that they had in this LA Times article, that's a nice, nice of you. There we go. I'll zoom in a little. I mean, Bangkok is huge. It's really, really big. Woof. I'll zoom in a bit more. Monstrosity of a building. Let's pan around a bit. So yeah, another drug was uh, Propulsid. Propulsid, it's for heartburn. And they had evidence at the time 
that it caused heart disorders. I did a video over there, there's a market just by there. So you can see my prior videos, maybe a few weeks ago. Nice outdoor market there. So yeah, with this drug anyway, um, they, they had knowledge that it caused heart problems and it resulted in at least supposedly suspected 302 deaths. You know, uh, there, there's another one in that article which I found very interesting, which is related to children, of course. So there's a drug, I don't, I don't remember the name, it was for reflux, okay? Gastrite, uh, for, for reflux, anyway. Um, so, and they, they were apparently warned because in the clinical trials, eight children died. How horrendous is that? Eight children died and they didn't put a label warning and didn't inform doctors not to prescribe it to infants and young children. So, you then had at least another 24 children reportedly killed by the drug before it was shelved. And Johnson & Johnson made billions, I think two and a half billion dollars, and that's back in the 90s when a billion was something. Yes, hello? What? Say on. How do you get down there? Oh, I'm dying. And again, guess what? No one lost their job. No one went to prison. So just get away with it. And then I was reading, there's an online journal, science.org. And they did an investigation and they looked at 107 physicians that do advisory for, for FDA for recommending drugs to be approved. And they found that after the fact, they're all financially rewarded by, by the pharmaceuticals. In some cases to the tunes of hundreds of thousands of dollars, even millions. And that goes for the FDA also. They end up getting serving two years and then getting a cushy job. And then you look at the mainstream media, like CNN's at war with Ivermectin, with the Joe Rogan um, war between them that's going on right now. I mean, CNN are really daft picking a war with him because obviously he's right and they're fake. But they've picked a fight. They've been trashing it as a horse dewormer, animal dewormer. It's a complete lie. He took the human form that was developed for humans before it was known that it would be beneficial to animals. So, but why? And if you watch CNN, then you're probably not watching my channel at this point. Um, so I'll tell you from other people who watch it, I know that CNN has sponsored, nearly every show is, is sponsored by Pfizer and other pharmaceutical companies, and a lot of their ad revenue comes from the pharmaceutical companies, which means they're bought and paid for. Manipulated. The news is manipulated because it's a pro-profit, which, which is, I'm okay with. But the pharmaceutical companies have bought their silence, bought their cooperation, and the war against ivermectin is not on the merits, it's literally on the fact that it's so cheap. So now they're, 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 they've got some new news about an SSRT or whatever, antidepressant drug. And that, that showed uh, in a trial in Brazil with like 1,500 people, half of which were on the drug and half of which were on placebos, that it reduced uh, the C19 blah blah by like 30% or something along those lines. Which is no different to stuff being discussed with ivermectin. Yeah, that is in hundreds of media being spoken about. It's not that an expensive drug, but it's not, you know, 30 cents a dose. And that, that's the deal. It shows the manipulation. 
it shows that there is like a cabal because at the end of the day everything kind of goes back to a few small number of players so just to let you know over here it's like Chinatown and then Khao San is where we're at at the moment and the King Palace is so you can see it, another temple over there I'll zoom in a bit okay and then you can see over here royal residences let's just see inside inside I'm not going in no point to go in okay let's work our way down yes son no because when we go back down we're going to the car we've got to go back to the hospital and get the medicine for your mum yeah so oh dear so we're getting a 360 view of Bangkok I'm gonna take my ivermectin in a few minutes I just ate outside before we came in here I ate a fatty meal and that's because it's fat soluble and, and you want it to dissolve into your bloodstream to take effect to take best effect for the purpose in which we're taking it which of course YouTube is because we're all full of worms so the label says to take 0 0.2 milligram per kilo of body weight that's what I stick to there are physicians who will recommend that you do double that 0 0.4 milligram this is obviously as a preventative measure for worms not and um, um, I do mine once a week and again the physicians will tell you that twice a week and then if you're actually caught the unmentionable worms then you want to do it daily either from the 0 0.2 to the 0 0.4 milligram per kilo of body weight i have to <laughs> have to watch when i'm walking these steps are tiny Obviously consult your physician, get more advice. I'm not a doctor, I'm just someone that's been doing this. This is my 14th week, but 15th dose. I had a midweek dose way back when uh, I was feeling a bit unwell. Uh, it was just fatigue from work, but I didn't want to take the risk, so I took an extra dose. Next day I was not fatigued anymore. Oh yeah, and that reminds me, that's the side effect that I have. Um, full of energy the following day like really full of energy and I've read people's comments they're the same I buy mine over the counter in Bangkok there are chemists that sell it over the counter there are hospitals that uh, use it in part of their treatment for the uh, worming pandemic that's gone global and uh, therefore some of the chemists decided to sell it over the counter um, so I'm fortunate to be living in a military junta third world country rather than the developed West. Um, what else can I tell you? I don't know about the animal version, the paste. I really don't. People have messaged and given their experiences in comments of on some of my past videos, but I've never done it, so I can't speak to that. I can only tell you about what I've done. This is really... Ah, oh, so that's what you were referring to, all the bodies that were eaten. Yes. Right, by vultures, yeah. So tell the story to everyone. So, a uh, hundred years ago, something like that, there was a... So people were drinking water from the rivers, the streams, and the... They were river. getting diseases. Yeah. And, mm. and a lot of people were... Where's the FDA dying? when you need them, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Go on. A lot of people were, were dying, and then they can't burn the body fast enough, so they're going to leave the body. And then the vulture comes and eat, come and eat. Oh, there we go. Wow. What a story. Ooh. Scary. Yeah. Yes, it is. Sad. Yeah. Life was hard. Life's not fair. 
Right? Yeah. yeah. Wow. That's about real life also, I then. Yeah. In size, the vulture. Go stand next to it. Wow. Yeah. Look at that beak, it would just shred you apart. <laughs> wow, it could be. Yeah, I don't know, it could be. Oh my goodness. Where's Fire Fauci when you need him? I tell you where he's not. Do you know where he isn't? No. In jail. Yeah. Oh, I think the vultures would eat me right now if there were any over here. They'd mistake me for a dead guy. I feel dead. All right, look. I'll do my medication in a few minutes just to show that I am doing it. And I, I'll leave it at that. Coming, Rena. Wow. Super cool. Back at home. Been a busy day. Had my acupuncture also today. That's my ivermectin. It's uh, six milligram per tablet, so I have to take three tablets. Let's do it. That's one, two. Where's the third one? So small. Huh? Okay, got it. One, two, three. Come on. One, two, three. Tiny these. Big packaging. Okay, vitamin C. Thousand. This is what. Another vitamin C. Next, I'm gonna say can overdose on vitamin C. Two. Bio zinc. What else have I got? So vitamin D. I mean, I do get vitamin D in my diet and being outside. But I don't have any vitamin D supplements. I've got fish oil. But vitamin D is extremely important. And the zinc is extremely important. In general, it's important. So, okay. And then, another zinc? Why not? Look, the point I've been making about what's going on with agencies, organizations such as the F FDA and then um, news media that you can trust like CNN. They're not transparent. They're all hacks. They're all in the pocket of someone for something. And the manipulation, what I said at the beginning of the video, how I feel that everything is manipulated. So, for example, um, climate change used to be global warming. Before that, when I was a very young child, it was global cooling, entering into a new ice age. Uh, all manipulation for a, 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 a different purpose um, as a means of control like I say, for a different purpose, not for our sake, our well-being, our future, or the sake of the planet. I mean, if it was the sake of the planet, England 
has the best apples, we used to have the best apples on the planet, why do we need now apples from Chile? We had the best lamb on the planet, why do we need it from New Zealand? We don't have our own lamb anymore, it's virtually gone. If global warming and sea levels are rising due to global warming, then why are beachfront villas so expensive? So that's it. I, I, I had my suspicions on different things and I've never been a fan of big government. I, I've always been someone that has valued my own freedom, which is why I'm an expat, why I left England. Um, I definitely feel more free in Thailand than I ever did in England. And it's not my country and I can't buy land and there are many things I can't do. Yet I still feel more free over here. So, there we go, my 14th week of ivermectin. of ivermectin. I'm going to be a zombie. And uh, my little rant that I wanted to share with everyone and just get it off my chest. Right, Rena? Shall I show everyone? Yeah? Just a second. Where is she? This is a new one. I'm putting on it. Very nice. Don't you look lovely today? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you don't or yeah, you do? I do. You really do. So many, so many other things to talk about, like what's going on with uh, um, Facebook changing its name and that they're going to do like a 3D virtual world communist. I mean, it's going to have to have laws, right? Rules, yeah? Who's going to make those laws and rules? Such a joke. It's such a bleak future that we have. And I wish I, I had optimism. I've got a friend of mine, which I think I've mentioned before, is very optimistic, says that they're winning battles in the courts and the courts take a, take a time, but eventually they win and i'm like yeah after the fact you know after the middle class have been decimated after tens of thousands of mostly women middle-aged are going to um uh, discover that they have cancer which would have been preventable um had they have been screened last year but now They, they, they're going to pass away. So after the fact, I don't know, doesn't really make me happy about it, you know. Here lies Joe Bloggs. He died uh, wrongfully and he was right. I mean, what, what use is that? The, the, the operation was a success, but the patient died. Dad? Yeah. Show me. Uh, show, show, show the world. No, show Look how I played a new one. Now jump. That was a joke. No, I did. I know, I was joking. Kid. Kids nowadays, what to do? We're gonna do a cooking video tomorrow, right, my love? Yes. Yes, it's gonna be vegetarian also. We've got someone waiting for two weeks already okay. for a vegetarian dish. All right? Do, do some steak on the side. Love vegetarian. Bye. Okay. Keep well. And remember, wear your masks.